Oh my god, we have a lot to talk mm. about. <laughs> oh yes. So, as you all probably know, um, first of all, welcome to Music Central's Disco Podcast. Um, today we are with Josh and John Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> John Josh bought a um, a full full like fully sized John Mayer model. As you can see, I changed up the um, the camera angle. Because I thought he was getting a little bit boring, so now we have this amazing light on my Les Paul. Um, yeah, so Josh brought a full size John Mayer um, costume thing, and it's just. Um, Amazon's very dangerous for me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, I've got headphones on, so to get. Oh Christ, to get rid of any, like, delay, because I we had problems and we had to record an entire podcast again, uh, episode 5, that was annoying. Um, but yeah, as you all probably know, um, there's been a lot going on, uh, this week, uh, Blackout Tuesday, um, I'm not gonna get, really get into it, I don't think it's a very good idea, um, because I just don't wanna get political, I just wanna just make this channel fun for you guys to watch, so, I don't really wanna get political, but I just wanna say, just do your part, and, you know, know your rights before you go out to riot, and protest, and stuff. But yeah, um, as you all know, all lives matter. Okay, so I think I think um, I don't think we should talk about it anymore because it's it's quite nah. quite upsetting. However, yeah, let's get into this week's topic. So <laughs> this is <laughs> this is cr- this is crazy. So we um we nearly got scammed. So I blocked <laughs> the guy. So hopefully you can't see this, but we nearly got scammed. So. Moral of the story, no, I'm not going to tell you. You have to wait. Then we're after we're nearly talking about nearly getting scammed. We're going to be talking about um, we're going to go into deep sea blues and um, the hot seat for me. Josh has prepared some questions for me. Three questions to be exact. Mm. Then some we have spicy questions. Yeah, t- jalapeno peppers. I hope there wasn't too much plosives and. Oh god. <laughs> anyway, then it goes guitarist of the week. Um I'm not gonna tell you who it is, however, you will like it because it involve it's not John Mayer, but it's Oh yeah. It's someone who plays John Mayer. Very well. Um then we go into fun music facts. Um and then <laughs> another thing for Deep Sea Blues. We're basically trying to make everything Deep Sea Blues so that, you know, we can consistently just do stuff every single week. Um like the same so you get the layout of the podcast um it's gear of the week um which i'm not gonna tell you what it is but we'll have a demo for that as well um josh i'm just checking do you have a demo in the pinned messages Um, of the gear of the week do you have it because josh might have to josh is going to be queuing everything can you see it no it's not even in there it's not in there um oh i know what it is um don't worry i'll do it do you want to do you want to do it then no. Yeah, I'll do the gear of the week. Um, then it's Oops. the out of back out of deep, deep sea blues into disco podcast. We are then going to um, rating musicians. Five musicians, <laughs> guitarists, obviously. And yeah, that's gonna be it. So, <laughs> okay, so let's get into this. Um, uh, it was just, it was just crazy, so, basically, we nearly got scammed, so this guy was trying to, um, he was trying to do a promotion, so he wanted to promote our video to lots of people, which is obviously a scam, if you ever get, like, texted or DM'd, don't, don't take him up, it's a scam. And get asked to get, like, PayPal, etc., you know. It's yeah, a bit... you know, just, I... Instagram ads are better, honestly. This guy was offering... So, I'll tell you what this guy was offering. This guy was offering 100 quid. So, that's 100... Not quid, 100 USD. Dollars. Yeah, for... Let me find 3, out 3,000 likes. And, yeah, you find out what that is in pounds. Um, 3,000 likes and... 6,000 views, which is, like... That's a scam, because if I do that on... Um, if I do that on... Instagram ads, you can get something like 10,000, and when we, like, promotion experience, I've had promotion experience with Instagram ads, literally a five quid ad gets you, like, 2,000 views, it's mental, he's actually scamming. It's about seven, 
It's about £79.36. pence. That's not good enough. Don't don't take him up on the offer. However, I don't doubt that he could get you some numbers. What I do doubt is that he can get you the full amount of three thousand likes. I don't I don't think he can do that. However, if he can, that's great, but still it's against Instagram's like policy, I'm pretty sure, to you know, do stuff do ads which isn't Instagram. Um, do promotion stuff however (laughs) basically so I didn't want to get scammed I didn't want to do this so I put the scam back onto him so (laughs) scammer gets scammed scammer gets scammed is I found Josh you just lagging by the way we're not scammers no we're not scammers this guy like he's offering me really bad value but then he basically we so we nearly got scammed so I scammed him so it wasn't it wasn't so much I scammed him, it was more he tried to scam me so I got something out, you know, and made it made it worth my time to actually talk to this scammer. So basically what happened, um I asked him Can I have a demo? Because I'm scared that a hundred dollars is quite a lot of money. Oh, Josh, have you frozen or are you just looking at Yeah, okay he's good. No, I'm looking um, at the iPad. Yeah. Um and you so I was like because I was like, $100 is quite a sum of money. So he was like, okay, so I'll give you a demo of 100 likes. But you have to pay me something like $10 or something. So you have to pay me $10 um, to to get these 100 likes. But I'll give you the 100 likes first. So we did. So we got the 100 likes on one of our <laughs> videos. It was the um, one where I used the, the Emmanuel head big... Bro, I'm burping. The Emmanuel Hedberg um, style mount, like, video we use. Like, so, on that video, which, because I just got a new mount and I'm using it there now, um, we recorded a new video and that's why we got 100 likes on. And it was kind of, um, Jesus Christ, my camera's focusing so much. Um, it was, bro, chill. Come on. So, it basically, um, yeah, on that video, and we got a hundred, hundred and ten free likes, which is pretty crazy. So that was really funny because I was actually sent. I was sending messages to Josh, and I was just, I was just dying. <laughs> I was like, "What is going you on? were?" Aren't you? I like, I, I freaked out because I was like, "We're about to get a hundred free likes." But basically, what they do is they send the um the post to like a pool of people which are all like in together doing the same thing. I think, and yeah, they just. Don't don't take them up on the offer, but yeah, that that's how we nearly got scammed, and it was it was, it was really funny at the time. Telling the story is a little bit harder, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm try I'm trying to be in like you know, I'm trying to to tell the story, but I'm just John Mayer came in the mail today, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I've only just realised that the. How, like most of the Discord podcast is Deep Sea Blues. Yeah, it is. There's like two topics within Discord podcast. And then yeah, you've got Deep I Sea mean, Blues. I got some Reese's cups, but yeah. Um I've got some buttons which are no more here. Should we make a new thing, else. Deep Sea Blues snack of the week? Oh no. <laughs> are we gonna put that in Deep Sea Blues or Discord podcast? Deep Sea Blues, we want the entire thing to be yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, Josh ordered a full John Mayer, six foot two, John Mayer carbo cut out. I'm so, pr- just I'm so to, proud of you. Just do a little bit how how tall it actually is. Ah, go on. <laughs> this boy, he's very tall. Guarantees more than six foot. Bro, I just keep dropping. That's like chock twenty foot. There's no way he's six foot two. He's way too big for that. Anyway, um, yeah. So that was that was that was that, that was crazy. He did have a gift card, so we didn't spend forty quid for nothing. I promise. It's John Mayer. So. Even though I would have done it anyway, even though <laughs> if I didn't even have a gift card. So. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, well spent, I think. Yeah, I think it's well spent. Because it makes a good thing for the podcast. If your GoPro is working, Jesus, I don't know what's going on with GoPro, yeah, but we I need, need to sue them. GoPro. We need to sue GoPro because they're they they're, they're not allowing us to 
film amazing podcast, bro. I'm gonna try. And... I mean, it's not the it's not, it's not the newest GoPro, but like yeah, it should still work. Yeah, you the know, Hero I mean... Five is it should you know it shouldn't be. I mean, it's a great camera. Yeah, it is, as you can tell by episode four. I'm pretty sure it was, but um, three or four, yeah. Anyway, so let's get into deep sea blues. Okay, so welcome There's to no Deep Sea Blues, yeah, yeah. everyone. Um, we are we're about to get into the hot seat. So I'm about to be put in the hot seat. I'm in this nice hot seat. Do you like my, do you like my little monkey? But I've got to try. Yeah, I've got to try and read the questions now off this tiny little screen. <laughs> yeah, oh, bro, I got, I got, I got a tablet as well. I can zoom in. Can you zoom in? No, give me a minute. I'm gonna screenshot it. iPad is a, iPad is bad. <laughs> How old is your iPad? Oh, like 50 years old. 50 years old. It's older than technology. <laughs> Do you know what, like, old. has it got, like, the um the home button where it has, like, the square in it? Yeah, it's, it's like... Oh, it's that old. Oh, Jesus. It, no, it's like, it's an iPad Air, but it's it's not the old, old iPad. It's the, like, the facelift iPad, but it's still got the little square. Oh, right. Well, Before they made the iPad Air 2. But was it the I, don't iPad? I don't know what right. it was. Do you want do you want to do you want to hit me with these questions? Under the heart okay, of... so are we ready for question one? Oh I am. I am. Question one. So if you couldn't be a musician for a job, what would you be? So I before I answer this, I just wanted you guys to know, um we are basically we've recycled one of the questions because I just thought you might want to know what it is for me, so <laughs> um now, if I w- couldn't be a musician, what job would I be? The answer would be some type of finance thing, like you know, um, like you know, you know, you know, real estate, obviously. Oh yeah, yes. I I want to be. I want. I if I couldn't be a musician, I would want to be a real estate agent. I have a. I wouldn't say a passion, but get off the Discord podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love being like. Um, Working out money, like calculating a bunch of money and calculating money and then working on how you can save it as well as um, spend it. Yeah, and how you can invest money into a better situation, if that makes sense, you know. But uh, question two, question two. Yeah, well, I'm not dumb, bro. I'm okay. not dumb. Oh, you're not done. I'm not oh, dumb. Right. <laughs> um, if you don't know. One of my favorite YouTubers, Graham Stephan. Um, he's amazing. He posts really funny content. He's actually started a podcast. He's on episode two, episode three coming out. I'll link his um, I'll link his channel down in the description. He's basically a finance YouTuber, and he is he is great. Um, I'm trying to on this podcast. I know this is a bit off topic. On this podcast, I'm trying to make it more relaxed. You know, instead of it being so robotic. Oh, like, did we go through? Did we go through the, the social media links? Oh Discord? crap! Yeah. Did we miss that out? Did we miss that out? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we, I think we we I think it was better that we addressed the current problems yeah. going on. You know, um, yeah. There's just so you know, guys. There's several videos out there where you can watch um, the videos and watch the ads on there because all of the ad revenue on those videos goes to um, several. I don't know several communities which help out with the um racism problem <laughs> that was very broad um mm-hmm. okay so yeah and social media links um instagram down below yo we need to talk about instagram bro oh wow yeah we 70 followers in like three we days se- like that. 70 people 70 followers in three days. i have no idea what happened maybe the instagram algorithm loves us but it's crazy because over like five <laughs> weeks we would go 50 followers then another five weeks 50 followers in three weeks 50 followers and then three days so we we're on 250 and then we were 270 and then at 270 we just like shot off like we actually blew up <laughs> um no <laughs> we didn't go viral but um basically what happened was we were at 270 i think it was four days ago so that's on a monday so that is uh first or 31st of 31st of may or the first of june 2020 and we just like we just we just grew a lot over those four days we hit 300 followers and we're now on 356 seven i'm not sure we're on quite a lot of followers uh, from yeah something two weeks something ago, like that, I think. but yeah, um, 
So yeah, anyway, so let's get into the next question. So hit me with that, Josh. Question two, yeah, I think so. Uh, so what do you wish you knew before you started out in music? Mm, that's, that's, a nice, that's a good question. Um, yeah. You know, I wish I knew... Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew that people... My mum. <laughs> people... Whoa. Care more about songs, about you playing songs, and not like people care more about you playing full songs over learning music theory. Do you understand? I, I yeah. So you're, I think you're in that situation where you know more songs than you know music theory. Do you know what I mean? Like that's not meant in yeah. a bad way. It's very, it's very useful. But- you learn when you're learning songs. You learn skills exactly, which is why I think learning songs at the start of a music career is probably the best way to progress. However, there is a point where you need to stop and you need to start learning music theory. And I've kind of just stopped really early on on learning songs. Like I know, like maybe three songs all the way through, and no, I think I know like six songs all the way through, and like three of them I've forgotten. <laughs> I used to know six songs all the way through, but and I've started mu- learning music theory. But I think I should start learning more music and stuff. Like, um, we just got interrupted there. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Apparently, food's ready, but I can't really go at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what time did we start recording? Oh, Christ, we're like no 17 idea. minutes in. 17, not 70, chill. Um,. <laughs> But yeah, Christ, we're only on topic two. We have four more topics to cover. Well, this is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, so I I wish I knew I, that I should play more songs. I should learn more songs and not go off and branch off and learn more music theory. Because you learn music theory on the way, and I think that is it's very essential to learn songs. Because then you can, if you ever need money, to fall, if you ever need something to fall back on, Let's say when you're like 18 or 19 and you want a little bit more money, you could just go out and gig and stuff, you know? However, learning yeah. music theory couldn't really do that unless you compose your own stuff, which is probably even better because, you know, then you're promoting your own creativity and stuff. But, yeah. So, let's get into question three, the last question, question I've run out of water. Three. So, this is this is a very <coughs> off-topic question to, um, oh, to yeah. music, really. But, it is, um, yeah. Basically, if it was a really hot summer and you could only have one drink other than water or milk, what would you choose? So, <laughs> this is a really weird question. Josh texted me this before. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it was a weird question. But I think it's good. I think it's a um, I think it's a valid question because it shows what kind of person you are. Okay, I'm just like, I'm just bullshit. We don't want the, we don't want Discord podcast to be just about music. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's not it, called Music Central's Discord podcast to only talk about music. <laughs> even though we do that most of the time. Yeah. But yeah, we just wanted to include something which isn't music. So, um my bro, this mic won't move. Look at this. Right. <laughs> Screw you. Right. Okay. Stupid mic stand. Right. Okay. So, um I would honestly have do you know those like um do you know it's like iced tea, like the lemon iced tea, which you can get in like Tesco or something? What, like Lipton or something? Yeah, yeah, something yeah exactly like that. that, yeah. <laughs> That's, or iced coffee, incredible. I would love like a... You love iced coffee, I don't, don't know why, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, damn, I need an iced coffee, especially on a hot day, but then like people have like iced coffee machines and they have like iced coffee like once a week and I'm like, bro, I would literally be living on that thing if I could have iced coffee every single day. You know, I love iced coffee. Mainly because of Graham Stephan. He lit- his podcast is literally right. called the Gra- literally called the Graham Stephan Hour. His podcast is literally called the Iced Coffee Hour. That's how much he loves it. It's basically an inside joke because he hates Starbucks and he um he just wants to make coffees at a cheap, like twenty cent iced coffee. Which is amazing. I love twenty cent iced coffee. I have twenty cent I actually I have something like 13p iced coffee mainly because um you know i don't really have the creamer um mm-hmm. he has a creamer with this thing i'm just trying to rearrange my windows here 
One sec. Um, he has a creamer with his iced coffee, and it like, I don't have that, <laughs> and nor nor do I really want it because milk is, in my opinion, the best thing you can add to a to a nice brew. This is Music Central. Sign. No, I'm joking. That that was some inspirational stuff. <laughs> um. Okay, so let's get on to guitars of the week. Damn, we are flying through these. But then it feels like we're flying through these, but we're already on twenty minutes. It's like. Uh, are you playing this one? Is this the one you're playing? Um, no, no this playing, is... Um... Yeah, Guitarist of the Week goes to Joey Antasio. Um, he is a legendary guitarist. No, he's he's a YouTuber with, like, 200 subs, but I love him because he did this um, HXFX demo, which is what I'm looking to buy. Um, and he basically just demoed the John Mayer tone, and it's so sweet. So, Josh, if you want to cue it, and don't speak, uh... remember, don't speak. Right, I'm getting electric shocks. Right, ready? Oh, well, that's nice. And then he goes to a different preset, yeah. He actually has the tone. Don't even know how much Josh craves the John Mayer tone, the Strat tone uh, like yeah. that with um the like the Clon Centaur overdrive and the full tone overdrive. Josh, you just you crave that. You will literally do anything to have that tone. I swear. I, will. I swear to God, you like <laughs> you. Uh, I don't really want the H HX effects because I want to stick analog. It's got a full tone overdrive and a Keely Katana boost um, model on it. Hmm. I'll I have that, that then. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, um, oh, I mean, I prefer the dra John Mayer's drive tone because you can you can generalize John Mayer's clean tone to just being like strats, you know. I love his um, solo tone of the Live in LA solo tones he, he got. Um, just, he, in, that was pretty much like that, really. Yeah, in... Um, I think it's I Don't Need No Doctor. Oh, shit. I've oh, had yes. the desktop audio on. Oh, that's okay. Um, yeah, sorry. I'll just mute it in editing. Sorry, editing to you. <coughs> but, yeah... Um, Basically, in a song called I Don't Need No Doctor. Ow, I keep getting shocked by my mic. <laughs> There's something wrong with it. It's just like... Do you want to Do you want to stop eating it? Maybe that'll help. No, no, I need to get close because then you can hear my sexy voice. Oh, God. But, um, yeah, so... Basically, in a song called I Don't Need No Doctor, obviously by John Mayer, um, he had this amazing drive, which was like... The overdrive was... It brings out tons more harmonic. It basically, it makes the harmonics more, more like amplified than the actual dry guitar tones. You know, it was re yeah. it was really weird. He would always hit harmonics like obviously by accident because why would you always want to make an entire solo like pinch harmonics? But it just sounds really, really, really clean and just like gr slick. You know, it you. 
when you have a drive like that, you don't really want to play a million notes a second like Joe Bonamassa I mean, and stuff. You've got to take your time, but, you know? I mean, we, went, we went through the gear a couple of episodes ago, I think. Yeah, so, go uh, check it out. Right. You'll know the pedals and the, the stuff I would like, and that's basically how, hopefully, I'll be able to get that tone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, It's kind of like a Steve Ray Vaughan a little bit, you know? Tiny bit. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's get into uh, fun music facts. It's really not. There's not an intro to that. I made an intro. You made an intro. Yeah. You didn't tell me. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you're making me look like an idiot now. Saying there's no intro, but there is. <laughs> Bro, this face. No, no, no. I just made the intro right there. Uh, that was the intro. Yeah. Music facts. Okay, this is Josh signing it. Bro, this first step, this first fact is like cuckoo. <laughs> the long. The longest song title ever is right. Just listen to his name, Hoagie Carmichael's. Nine, ooh, nineteen forty-three. Voice crack. Nineteen forty-three. Quote unquote. This is the song name. I'm a cranky old yank in a clanky old tank on streets of Yokohama with my Honolulu mama doing these beat o beat o flat on my seat o. Hi- Hirohito Blues. Okay. Who educated this man? Someone needs to take away his... Well, he's, he's probably dead now, but... Someone needs to take away his, um... His right to... Well, right. You don't name songs that. <laughs> well, you de- you know, we we named this, um... We named this, uh, podcast, uh... What is it now? We nearly got scammed... That's what you call an intriguing title. What? I mean, we wouldn't name the podcast every single topic. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, for example, exactly. physical podcast, That's nearly exactly getting scanned, deep about. sea blues, the hot seat, question <laughs> one. Yeah. Like, and then he just basically named every single nickname that he's ever been given, ever. Like, <laughs> he's been called Honolulu, Mama Do- that yeah, Mama Doin? Wow. PG. <laughs> Has he been doing mamas? P- PG, PG. <laughs> Please don't demonetize Actually, us. Actually, not PG. Actually, PG. Yeah, no. Um, but <laughs> no. Is this guy like yeah. this guy's gonna be like Asian or something? Like some type of Asian background? Because I'm not sure. You're you like. Do you hear a, a Tex a Texan a te- Texish? Someone from Texas, do you hear them going, nice. <laughs> Yokohama with a Honolulu? Actually, kind of, yeah. But it's more, it sounds more like... I've never been to Texas. Neither. So. But it sounds more like... I want to go to Texas. Asian, yeah, too. Like Asian background with the Yokohama with the mono... Joe, I'm so racist. I'm on about like... Oh, dear me. Uh, I'm sorry, every... I... You just dug yourself a hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> we try to be all nice at the beginning oh. and then you go, I'm so racist. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, honestly. Uh, anyway, but that's a stupid ass name, bruh. Who the hell calls it that? Anyway, let's get to topic 17. 17? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm reading the facts off his website, okay? It's fact 17, but we've read out the others, so... Let's get to fact two. <laughs> Three facts again, should we, Josh? Yep, yep. Let's go. Right, okay. What the... Okay, this is sad. There are more people in Monaco's orchestra than its army. Mm-hmm. What the... Bro, we should, like, invade Monaco. They, what they're gonna, what they're gonna do? Like defend Wait, with, like playing the. Yeah, what are they gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> they just play like Beethoven, like in D minor. You know, they just play any Beethoven song in D minor, and we just get scared because we don't like classical. Honestly, that would be better than Army, to be honest. I hate classical. Scare most people away. It scared me away. I would just come. Ho- yeah, I'd come back well. with like a six hundred watt amp. <laughs> I'm sure that would, like, <laughs> blow the plug that I'm plugged into, but I don't know how physics works. Yes, I should do, because I'm... I took triple size for GCSE, but... There you go. Why? Um, <laughs> Brian Adam... Oh, Brian. 
Let, let me just read this one sec. Okay, so let, let's not read that. Um, <laughs> in the US, 2005... In the US in 2005, vinyl record sales only reached 35 million dollars. Duh. That sucks, it? bro. It only reached 35 million dollars in oh. 2005. <laughs> like, that, I mean, that shows humanity, you know, like, ex- expanding. Do you, know, but do, you, do you know when it peaked? When? It peaked in 2006, because that's when John Mayer Continuum came out. Kill me. <laughs> and they <laughs> released a vinyl version, I don't know when. <laughs> okay, so... When it, it either came out in 2006 or 2007. It's not done yet, though. In 2015, sales had exploded to 416 million. That's because John Mayer released um, the album... Uh, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> It's uh, a good album. Let me just find the name. It's a good album. I like this album. Hmm. Uh, the Search for Everything, I think. No, that was 2014. Or 2012. I have no idea. Don't take any advice from me. You're a John Mayer fanboy. What do you mean you have no idea? I actually don't have any idea. Actually, I probably do have some sort of idea, but I don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> okay. So, um, but it, like, it's weird because it was, like, 2005 is, like, oh, you know, they're all like, oh, let's move over to electronics and stuff because it's, it's like, you know, we're moving into the future. But then 2015 is like, you find, you know where, okay, so this is a weird thing where, so you have a 60s Strat, yeah? And, um, uh, yeah. Well, let's say you have a 60s Strat. That's, that's the only guitar I'd ever have. If I could choose one. In the 1960s, strap. that strap would have been <laughs> modern and nice, and you would have been like, whoa, this is really cool. However, now this is seen as vintage, and all you want is a 1960s strap. I think it's the same philosophy for this, in the way that 2005 is like, oh, yeah, no, all this digital stuff is modern, and we should swap to it. But then 2015 is like, vinyls are really, uh, like, vintage, and we need to, you know... We need to go to. We need to get some vinyls because they're vintage and really cool. And you know, do you, do you understand? Do you understand like the philosophy yes. I'm going with here? For for example, analog digital pedals. Yeah, exactly. So, digital's amazing, but soon we're gonna all want analog, like amps as well. Like amps were were there was a rage of tube amps and stuff. Like I don't know when, but there was a rage at some point where everyone wanted them, and then. Digital came out, and then there was a, and then there's gonna be rain. There's gonna be a rage, and then everyone's gonna be wanting, everyone's gonna be wanting 1990 vintage like, tube amps because 1990 will be vintage in the future. You see, 1960 is like, vintage. For example, the the Marshall Code 50s now. Everybody wants those because you know they're digital. You can download things onto them. But soon, like the guitar, the Boss Katanas, yeah, stuff like that. But soon. You know, it's everyone's gonna wanna be going back to the tube amp because there are people like me, for example. I want like I want like a modeling pedal board thing, but then soon when I'm forty and pedal analog pedal boards are a thing again, you know, because everyone's gonna move Hopefully. over to digital. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of people are. Um, it's yeah, you know, it's gonna come back into thing, and then Josh will be glad that he saved his amazing um, pedal board, <laughs> which is. <laughs> Which is about, hopefully, about to get even better. Full tone overdrive, here we come. And, yeah, yeah, full tone, <laughs> Kili Katana, let's go. Okay, so, okay, so I need to type this in. Um, yes, you do. I need you to type this in. Video. So this is gear of the week. Um, I'm just going to take you for a little tour. This is, sorry if this is laggy, I'm recording. Yeah, can you see Josh, you're a little bit laggy. Anyway, um, it's okay. Um. We're gonna go. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go bot command, um, and then this is a bunch of stuff. This is where basically Josh types in all of the bot commands to say, you know, do this and do that, and then the DJ comes in and joins. But basically, um, the gear of the week goes to um, the gear of the week goes to the Boss RV Six, which is a reverb pedal which i think is an amazing reverb pedal i love so much boss pedals they're amazing the stomp boxes are just the digital delay as well i love it but this my board is basically boss yeah yeah exactly and it's just like boss's fit and that board is fit so it must be boss's fault 
So, um, <laughs> yeah, so the Boss RV6 is the pedal that... The gear that won this week. Um, let's just say... I'm going to have to type this in now, so I'll type it in. Um, P, this is the code. Um, RV6... Oh, I just typed in too much. RV6 reverb uh, slash delay. And then reverb demo so that might be a little bit weird because i typed reverb twice but basically reverb is the um reverb is the company it's, they make you know they're like a they're like ebay for oh, musicians reverb oh reverb as a website reverb yeah right okay reverb demo okay so it's this one let's have a listen Jesus, bro, that lags so hard for me. Oh, and it lagged again. Sorry about that. Right, okay, I think that's enough now. Uh, yeah, I just cut off the desktop audio, so if you want to get rid of the bot, just disconnect the bot yep, when you're ready. Yep. This, oh, wow. <laughs> Your camera's gone, by the way. Oh, sorry. I'll turn it back on. Um, there you go. Should be better. You guys won't be able to see that because... I've got a camera image over here, which is this beautiful camera over here. So, wow, wowie, that was wow, that was wow. I want reverb pedal now. <laughs> There's so much gear out there, you know, which I just it sucks, bro. It sucks because there's so much stuff you can. Have. When I start making my own money, it's gonna be like I'm talking about like in the three digit range, like hundreds and stuff you know hopefully off music central <laughs> yeah hopefully hopefully we can make some money off this podcast I'd, I'd love to make the thing that i love doing this podcast a job you know because then it would it would help out and make let us make some better um content because get better quality equipment etc yeah and obviously push for positivity i know money won't and wouldn't help that. and i could have another Cardboard, cu- cardboard cutout of John Mayer. Oh, I can have one in the background, but here. There's literally a place right yes. there for John Mayer. I'm waiting for it in the mail, <laughs> P.O. box in the description. No, I'm joking. I don't know where P.O. box is. I don't have it. Um, Basically, um, I, I don't know what it is either. <laughs> P.O. box is like where you can just, people can randomly send you stuff and you could just open it. I don't know if I'd want to do yeah, that. Yeah, because I'm scared like some sick person would just send me like a coronavirus. <laughs> Oh Christ! You know, you know, saying that actually gets you demonetized. I swear to God, right? What does you become ineligible to be like paid with ad revenue if you say if you mention the c word? I mean, like the virus. We didn't mention it. What are you talking about? Yeah, shut up, YouTube. <laughs> okay, so um, I <laughs> it's basically that reverb pedal. I think has like a shimmer option, and I love the shimmer like. Can you imagine having the shimmer thing with like some volume swells and stuff? Oh, like wow! 
and like having that in the middle oh this is just how i dream it so you're in la live in la type stuff you know <laughs> you have um this amazing like guitar and pedal board and you do this like rv you use that rv6 and you have tons of reverb in the shimmer and you play some nice chords and then you deactivate that reverb and then activate the lead and then you play an amazing intro solo and then the song starts and then you guys play into the night can you just imagine that that would be whoa yeah <laughs> that would be whoa <laughs> i would i would love whoa. that that's my that's my dream and i'm talking about playing to like 40,000 50,000 people but obviously uh, not even billy i'd I- be coming with you <laughs> yeah exactly not even billy eilish like probably one of the most popular musicians out there musicians you know? i mean i'd l- i'd love to tour around the world and play you know yeah but you know well <laughs> only only people who can whisper into mic like billy eilish get to tour the world <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it for Gear of the Week. Well done, boss. You you won in our award. You will receive something in the mail. Um, it's called a sponsorship deal. <laughs> um, yeah. So now we're back out of Deep Sea Blues, and we're into Discord podcast. So again, <laughs> yeah. So now we are rating musicians or guitarists, probably guitarists, all guitarists actually. So In first mind. of all, I'm going to tell you the top five who they are. Obviously, so we have John Mayer, couldn't go without him. Obviously. Eric Johnson couldn't go without him. Eric Clapton couldn't go without him. Well, could have actually. I don't really like him that much, to be honest. I don't know why. <coughs> please, <coughs> please don't. I guarantee YouTube would like take down this video just because we just said I don't like Eric Clapton. I told you guys. I don't like him, I'm sorry. Then Corey Wong, which is a the funk rhythm guitarist, lead. I'm not sure what he plays, but he plays guitar in Wolfpack. Then again, I'm not too sure. Actually, I'm going to look it up right now. Does this boy play... Oh, as we're going between the um, the demos, which we are going to play, uh, um, it might take me a minute or so to copy everything in. Yeah, that's fine. If that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who is in... Um... Wolf Peck. So I know the bassist. I mean, of like, nobody looks like, but Corey Wong looks like the guitarist. So I'm pretty sure. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, yeah, no, it is Corey Wong. Okay, good, good. I got scared then, but yeah, okay. it's Corey Wong who's um the rhythm guitarist or whatever. He's a guitarist, and he's his his oh his rhythm is is something else. Um, is exponential, but then we have Tomo Just Funky because Tomo Just Funky is is strange to me. He's an amazing guitar player, but he he hasn't he's re- amazing with his dynamics. He's not a normal guitar player in the way that they can play a million notes a second. No, you get me. Okay, I get you. <coughs> okay. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay, so first let's rate John Mayer. So if you'd like to play a demo. Oh yes. <clears throat> Obviously, we know this is going to be a ten out of ten. No, I know, I know my answer of John Mayer. Bro, it's lagging, and they're like. Oh, it's weird. It like slows down. It's weird. Actually, we've heard this before, haven't we? Oh, who who cares? Whoa, that just lagged a lot. Oh, I th- I thought it lagged then. I was like, yeah, okay. No, um, it kind of ended, but you know. <sighs> no worries. Right, John Mayer. Who are you rating him? What are you rating him at? Swear to God, one, one out of ten. Unfortunately, no, five out, of t- ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna rate him. I thought we meant the numbers. I'm gonna rate him eight and a half out of ten. <laughs> Get off now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I love him, but eight and a half because he hasn't really got the. I don't. He's not like an amazing, amazing guitar player. Like he doesn't make me go when I hear it. I, when I hear him, I don't go. 
oh my god, he's the best person I've yeah, ever heard in my life. I, I know, hear him and go, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, the, I, I feel like there's better people out there. Like, just if John May could play fast, that Gee, at least no, 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 no. At least you know that he has the potential to go fast. At least you know that he's choosing to go slow. But I feel like sometimes he just has to because he just physically isn't capable, or he just hasn't learned yet. You know. No. Like, like uh, uh, Joplin Massa. So, are we dissing John Mayer? <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, I'm rating him a 9. 9, nine out of 10. You got 10 out of 10 for that? Is, did, I hear a, did I hear a 10, then? <laughs> <laughs> I might, I may, uh, 9 out of 10. Josh is 10 out of 10, obviously, because John May is in the background of Josh's video. Okay, let's get to Eric Johnson. Totally, totally, off, totally off topic again. This, uh, Adam's cool. only recently liked the photo I sent to him. <laughs> of who? Five. Remember the photo? Of me and John May here. Jesus Christ. Christ. You texted that at like 1pm today. It's now 7. <laughs> get on get on our level, Adam. He probably isn't watching this, but if you are. Uh, number 5, is that correct? Um, it's, it's Eric Johnson. I think it is. Eric Johnson, guitar lesson, that is the one, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, this is Eric Johnson, and we're going to just. There's a, a lot of talking at the start. Sorry today. for this. I'd like to show you just a quick thing. This is going to be uh, A chord into an E chord with a G sharp on the bottom into a, a G7 chord into an F7. So it's really just going uh, down uh, in a descending pattern. And then to end with a 2-5 chord of F sharp minor into B sus, back to the root, E. So once again, that would be like. One more I time. love that. So the idea of that is then if I wanted to play over that, I would play A major. Oh, that tone. Give me, to please. E. To uh, G7. To F sharp. To F sharp minor. To B, B uh, sus back to E. So if I wanted to do that real fast, I might play something like uh, Ah, the lag. One more time. Right, that's enough though. Okay, um, I'm going to rate Eric, jo oh, let me turn off desktop audio, right, okay, what would you rate uh, Eric Johnson, Josh? Um, hmm, I swear to God. I mean, I don't, I, I don't really listen to Eric Johnson a lot. Um, based off that, what do you think? Based off that? Based off the way he played and the tone he got, which is, like, incredible, but, you know, um, Probably like eight point five nine. Yeah, yeah um, I'm gonna go nine point five. Like that. Obviously, like that. a guitar player can't be perfect. Um, the reason why I would rate Eric Johnson nine point five, he can't teach. Like most of the guitar players, apart from maybe Steve Vai, I'm not sure too sure, but most guitar players when they do give a guitar lesson, they they don't really give a guitar lesson. They just play it and tell you what it is. You know, they don't really teach you how to play it like. Eric Johnson, he just told you the chords and then played some random stuff over it. Like, that's not really how you teach someone. You've got to tell them why it works. However, I like to know why it works. If you don't want to know why it works, then that's obviously you. But uh, that's why he's a 9.5 for me and not a 10. Uh, so you would go 8.59? Similar, yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's get to number three, Eric Clapton. Now, before we start this, I don't really think Eric Clapton is like people are like Eric Clapton's legendary but it, he he's a legendary guitar player I mean he's I had to put them. him on there because of the 
the well-known status. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, I just... I feel like he's a little bit overrated. So I'm not going to trigger people. Go on. You go play it. Are we ready? Yeah. Uh, yep. Hopefully this is it. Right, okay. I'm turned off the desktop audio. Um, before we start with this, just keep it playing. Josh has a lot of talking. So um, I've turned off the desktop audio. So Josh, if you want to just speak to me a little bit. <laughs> How are you doing, Josh? Good. How how are you? I'm I'm honestly good. Um, right now he's talking about he Eric Clapton just ran. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. I'll start listening now. Right color. I think it is. I think it is. I, I'd like to say that it's a fantastic repro. I mean, it's it's a great. I mean, it's a great guitar to play. That's the thing. Right. He's got to plug it in now. Yeah. I might have to turn it up, I'm afraid. <laughs> You're not going to like this. <laughs> I like that cream tone. Right, um, I honestly don't know what to think of that. It sounds good, um, the tone was good, but that's probably because of... <laughs> I think he was using a fuzz face. The amp- no, no, he wasn't. Um, or something. I, I he watched, not? No, I like know, that. I watched the video. Um, he was on the... He was going through like a twin or a tweed or something like that. Ah. And he basically yeah. turned it right up and was on the bridge pickup and turned it down. Turn the tone down, sorry. Yeah, they so, do sound like that. Yeah, that's how you get it to sound like a first face. But the problem is when you do that is you lose that high end, so you have no, like, mm. screech to it. There's no, like... Uh, isn't The guitar doesn't cry, you know? It just it just kind of cuts... It bottoms out really easily, which is kind of why I don't like to use the tone too much because I just lose a bunch of sustain, and that sucks. Sustain is B. It's the way forward. The only way is up. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's. I'm I'm gonna rate Eric Clapton seven out of ten. I think that's all right. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. You go seven out of ten as well. Um, yeah. I mean, I've seen Jamie Harrison's vision on "I Shot the Sheriff," but I think that's just because Jamie Harrison is like amazing, and um. Mm. I think I don't think Eric Clapton played it. It's just as nice in the same way that he played John Mayer's version nicer than John Mayer. You know, <laughs> I think I think it's just John Mayer's like no uh, Jamie Harrison is just he just practices. He it. is every guitarist. Yeah, literally, he's, he, he's every guitarist. Every single guitarist. Oh, okay, so fourth musician we're gonna rate is Corey Wong um, in Wolfpack. So yeah, he's a funk guitarist. So Josh, if you wanna play a um video, okay, here we go. Hey, Reverb.com. I'm Corey Wong. Thanks for joining us. I play the guitar with Wolfpack, I'm the rhythm guitar player. And also one of the fun things with that band and with one of the fun things that I do as part of my sound is kind of bringing rhythm guitar to the front in certain aspects rather than just like, when somebody thinks of lead guitar, they think of this sort of stuff. Uh, but a lot of just the rhythmic 
things are what kind of gets brought to the front with what I'm playing. So it's not necessarily lead guitar, lead guitar, but a lot of the way that my guitar stuff comes to the forefront is still within the rhythm guitar I context. Think, I think that's a, an essential, oh, one side. I think rhythm is a um, is a big um, essential with um, yeah like oh, what what is it I think rhythms are like a big essential on on funk because you can't really have funk without the rhythm guitar but then again you know you you don't really want a screeching guitar when you have funk do you you just want I don't think there's a real need for lead if you can just play. <laughs> no need for, for lead. For example, Niall Rogers. Yeah, yeah. Niall Rogers. You can you could just play guitar, rhythm guitar, and include a little bit of lead, and then Rogers. you can be Reed. Adam Reed. <laughs> exposed Whoa, his full no. name. Whoa, <laughs> that's not Adam's name. <laughs> you dug yourself another hole there. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <gasps> Bro, my life. Oh, what number was that? Uh, that was number four. Minute. And yeah, so what would you rate Co- Corey Wong? I would rate him a, a nine out of ten. Definitely. Yeah, because just because his rhythm is incredible. Yeah. Okay, let's get to Tom and just funky. Well, are we ready to play the demo? Yeah. Okay. So maybe we should try that. This is him with Zach Gibbs, his student, by the way, just so you know. Lagged. Mm. This is good. This is Zach Gibbs playing, by the way. We have to wait a little bit before we can get to um, Tom and Just Funky, just, you know. Keep it going on for a while because this is a good one. This is Tom, I just funk, you know. Right, we should probably watch it a lot, um, so just let it go through, because there's this amazing bit at the end. Mistake! Oh. That was Zach Gibbs, by the way, not Tom or just Funky. I love how this goes to minor now.
I love that Silver Sky Bridge pickup. It is so nice. It sounds like someone's singing. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why Tomo Just Funky is going to be my 10 out of 10 for this rating musicians because I think he is amazing. I there's a there's a big John Mayer feeling. Yeah, there. yeah. I think there's more of a big Tomo Just Funky feel in John Mayer's playing yes. because obviously Tomo Just Funky, you know, he was not a teacher of him, but he taught him quite a lot of stuff. Um you know, Tom Just Funky was the reason why John Mayer is where he is today, because he told John Mayer that he had to sing, otherwise he wouldn't get any p- very popular. Okay, I need to thank Tom Just Funky. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Tom Just Funky, he's amazing. I love his dynamics and stuff. It's just amazing. It's exponential. Um, the hum- He was going through the PRS Silver Sky from memory and a deluxe reverb. Zach Gibbs um, was playing through a pink the red strat, wasn't pink it? Fender strat, I think. Um, was it a pink or red? It was one? a pink custom shop, actually. Yeah, I remember him talking about it on an on an Instagram live. You know, he only has like one thousand followers. I'd expect him to have more, assuming in that video had like six hundred thousand views. You know, mm. but yeah, that is that that was um, Tom just funky. He's my ten out of ten. He my rating is going to be ten out of ten. What's yours? Like, what would you like out of ten? I don't know, 9.5, 10 out of 10, I don't know, one of the two, 9.5, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he can't play, I feel like he would be like, oh, you can't play very fast, but you could hear him, you know, like shredding the pentatonic minor scale, I feel like... I mean, it's not all about playing fast. Exactly, and he is literally the definition of take your time, it's not all about playing fast, Mm. and it's fast, I just said it like you, fast, (laughs) God, <laughs> fast. I'm special. Yeah, you're. you well, you're. You got an English accent, and you. I don't. I don't say fast. I say fast. But you know. So um, yeah, that was Thomas Funky. Ten out of ten for me, Josh. You nine point five. Nine point five. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He is just amazing. Yes. Okay. 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 Right. So, um, should we have a little interview with John Mayer? Uh, yes, I don't know how this is going to work, but, um, <laughs> I'm well. joking. Um, let's just turn and look at John Mayer, <laughs> shall we? Let me just, like, oh, yeah, just. All right, that, that was a <laughs> Okay, so, um, John Mayer is, um, he's massive in the cardboard cutout. I hope he's not that big, but then again, if you see him in real life, then you can give him a hug and he'll be like, yeah. You you get me, fam. <laughs> but yeah, so um, he's usually at Nam. So yeah, if we can get to Nam, if YouTube will actually help us, you know, if we get a certain amount of subs, we can actually get to Nam with like a spon- endorsement or something. So let's say Gibson um, endorse us, we could go to Nam. Let's wait till the um, the current situation is over in America. Oh so, yeah, so. definitely yeah. But I mean, and it'll probably the be over. Pandemic. By the thing. Oh, I know this is off topic, but you know they found new things for. Um, do you know who Madeline McCann is? Yes. They found I new do. evidence for Mad- Madeline McCann case. I know. I saw it this morning. That's that's great. I mean, I, I really I hope know. they solved it. But then again, it's a thirteen or something years or something. Isn't it? Yeah, it's mental. It was two thousand and seven. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like people still think she's alive. Um, I'm not too sure, honestly. I. Mm. I think. I don't know. I feel like there's hope because I feel like someone would have kept her alive for whatever reason. I mean, the documentary on Netflix. I haven't is seen very it. Good. I should see it. I've watched it. I finished it yesterday. I, think. I That's should watch really it. Good. Yeah, that goes yeah. into a lot. Yeah. Well, I'll have a look at it tonight. Um. Yeah. yeah honestly, <laughs> this is off topic, but <laughs> you know. Um. Thank you, everyone, for the crazy amount of followers you've grown over the past four days. It's... And f- from John Mayer. Yeah. And uh... and um. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and join our Discord and Twitter and everything down below, Spotify and Anchor. Um, that's Discord Podcast, Episode 6. Crazy that we've come to Episode 6. You know, I kind of thought we'd die after Episode 2 because we got lazy. <laughs> but 
we've actually stuck to it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, so this has been a very long episode, but um, I think that's going to be about it. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching episode six. Um, this is John Mayer signing out up by there, right by there. Um, up, up this here. is Theo signing out. And Josh, do you have anything else you want to say before you sign out? Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> um uh, no. Um. Uh, no. Nah, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, <laughs> okay. So <laughs> thank you everyone for watching. Um. As I said, social media description, and I'll see you for episode seven. I'm not. I was about to go. Peace. <laughs> Goodbye, don't, guys. Don't, don't. <laughs>